I will say this is the most scary job I've gone to this year and how bunny people ask me to wear a wrapper to cover events. Like, it wasn't an easy one. It's really, really scary. Well, you know how we do it. Just follow me to see my work process. This is me living over here. For those of you that knows over here very well, this is control. I want to go and board a car going to Portacot. They said Sienna is not getting filled any time that I should enter the small car. Well, I had to take the advice because I'm already running late. This is me. The journey entered in, into night. So this is me getting to the place they gave me address. I'm going to meet my guys that will be, you know, I'll be traveling with the next day. Funny thing that I saw there, they used the state's name as room number. <laughs> this is Portacourt in Portacourt. This is Emo State. This is room number. I don't understand. Enugu. Funny enough, my room number is Enugu. So I had to enter and meet my guy. Next morning, the, our organ that's supposed to carry us came around and I said, okay, guys, come out. It's time. Uh, who is this one now? Uh, why are you spoiling my video? So we are now trying to load our stuff. This is me. This is my morning look. Like I was a little bit exhausted. Though it's morning, uh, you know, yesterday's stress. This is my guy vibing. I don't understand. What is he feeling like? Danny Dreams. And this is our, our guy, new FS Media, our CEO. Okay, this is me observing from the window, you know, uh, the wonderful creature of God. Now, as we are going, uh, I saw this police station. I thought our guy wanted to arrest all of us because hey, I don't understand. Why is he driving, entering the police station? Well, it's not what I thought. So that is where we are meant to assemble. And this is other guys that we're supposed to live with. Hyper City, for those of you that know Spotacot very well. So then, uh, this is where we are. We've gotten to the place we're supposed to board you know, the Obon Mary, what, what is it called? Is it sheep, Obon Mary or whatever, you know? So, like, it's, it's a bit scary, but then I had to be a man. This is us walking towards the, is it Kago, Obon Mary? Whichever one you think, you know, these are the people we're supposed to live with, we've met them. This is the particular Obon Mary they say we are going to live with, all right? Well, I'm a bit scared, but then, since it looks like a house, I had to manage. So, they say we should use this balloon, balloon. Uh, sorry, is it balloon, oh, sorry, a life jacket. So I have no other option. I have to, you know, I have to put it on. <laughs> I don't know how to put this thing on because I've not used it before. This is me looking like a bouncer. <laughs> I want to go and see who I want to be bouncing behind. You understand? <laughs> okay, it's all fun. This is my guys putting their own on. Well, uh, I guess this could be their first experience. For me, it's my first time, you know, being in this kind of place. This is us entering the particular urban mirror that we'll be living with. This one has AC, like it's a cruise on its own. This is AC. We have television. We are watching movies there. But of course, you know, this the movies I've been watching. So I wanted to see how the Obon Mary is Obon Mary in the Obon Mary. So this is us vibing. Don't mind this thing. I'm afraid though. Hmm, don't mind this thing. I'm doing it like that. I'm afraid. So we've started the journey already. Now look at this. Look at these are our guys. These people like good things. We want to climb where they are. They say no, it's for VIP. And uh, people should go inside. They want to enjoy. They didn't want to tell us. So well, I had to take excuse at some point and go outside because I wanted to see how the whole thing is going. So I had to come outside to see how the you know the engine is you know waving the water back. So I had to video myself for oh, to see that I'm the real one. Oh, this is on your child, you boo around me. He's smoking, drinking because it's cold. Well, me, I can't smoke, I can't drink. That is me. So I had to see other Obon Mary that is carrying container. I was like, okay, so this is how this container used to see. They say container is hanging on the sea. That is it. So as a cinematographer, they had to push me at the forefront that I should be recording the Mary. All these mommy water, they don't know that this thing exists. Well, all the same. I had to apply caution, you know. So this is our load in front of the Obon Mary, uh, you see, in front of the cargo. Yeah, we've gotten to where we are going to, glory be to God, you know, I'm no longer afraid at this point. So we are trying to leave. They said if you did not go out with your blown blow, they will not allow you to come out. I mean, is it balloon, life jacket, life-saving jacket? Yeah, that is what I call it. So this is us. Now, uh, to come out of this cargo, this airplane is very, you know, scary and stressful. Look at our old mama. They are trying to climb the staircase from the Obon Mary. Well, we managed it and I've removed my own blue blue and gave it to them back. This is the Obon Mary. It's Obon Mary back to the Obon Mary where it's Obon Mary doors to this place. So that is it. We've entered another, you know, another motor that will, that will carry us to the main place. This journey is too far. Like, but then, 
it's a nice one. We'll have to go to the airport first of all to pick the celebrant. And this is them, you know, coming out from the flying boats, no, sorry, flying up to the, you know, motor that will carry us. To their house, we've just gotten there. I don't know why these people, these bunny people, they like, um, you know, putting flag in everywhere. Okay, after everything, they show us where we are supposed to stay. This is me raising my leg. The next day, walk after that. This is my baby girl. We need to fly all the whole of uh, Bunny State, you know. You see state? No. Community. <laughs> okay. So we started. This is the celebrant. Well, I don't even know what to call this, what we went for. You see a silver jubilee or something like that. But man... To marry here is very, very expensive. To marry in Bonnie is very, very expensive. This is not really a, a traditional marriage, but then it's a, celeb- a celebration that, you know, I don't know how to explain it. All right, I just wanted you to hear how their music is sounding, but something happened like I wasn't comfortable with. Imagine me wearing a rapper. They said, if you don't wear a rapper, uh, you, you're not going to enter the event. Like... How can a cinematographer be wearing this? Well, I had to like it. I had to vibe with it. But it's not really easy. You can even see my guys also putting on rapper. Like, look at the photographer putting on rapper. But then, uh, culture is always culture. We have to respect their culture. So, this is the event going on. They have dancers and all of that. Okay. Uh, well, I really enjoyed it. To do the journey was that far but i would say it's worth it bunny people uh, i don't even know what to say about them these guys are not really hospitable yeah i know i'm, I'm gonna say if you're from bunny don't be offended but i need to say the truth these guys are not really hospitable well it may be the people god sent to represent them but then i don't care i have to put my judgment there that is it so the event is still going on well, I have no other choice that to enjoy. So I tried to ask them what this event all about or this ceremony. They said if you marry there, this is the ceremony you do so that when they, when your wife dies, you can be able to bury her at your place. But if you don't do this ceremony, if she dies, they're going to bring her back to Bonnie to her father's house to bury her. Well, I said, okay, that's for them. Now, the most scary part of this journey started. When I wanted to leave, because I know I have another job in a where in Portacourt City, so I had to just journey back. Now, they said the boat we came with is not what we are going to go back with. Well, not really what we are going to go back with, but because I'm going alone, that I should source myself. Like, I don't understand. Finally, I just have to leave. Then, how am I going to leave? They said I should go and the public place they used to enter the, you know, my dear. Fear catch me. But all the same. And I said, okay, let me give it a try. This is us. I have boarded the taxi. My brother, look at what I'm going to enter. Like, I'm, I was even managing the one we came with. Now they say I should enter this empty one. Is it open boats? I'll be open keke. Like, I don't understand. Like, I was shouting Jesus all through. Is it this thing that I'm going to enter? Like, I'm going to enter this thing. Okay, well, I had to just be myself. And they're asking me, are you afraid? Is it your first time? How will I not be afraid? Okay, come center now. Okay. <laughs> Stay for center now. I they beg this man. I beg. See what? <laughs> I would just say that these people are so wicked. Like they know that this is my first time, and they allowed me to stay in the front. Like we are the first people to look at. In, in fact, immediately after me, you start seeing the seat. They didn't even tell me this one. The driver used to stay at the back, oh, but they did not tell me. They allowed me to be at the front. Like I'm not the driver. Well, I had to just be myself. I was just praying. I said, God, help me. If I survive this one, in fact, I will never be a sinner again. In fact, I feel like I'm going to drown inside. Then as we are moving, I thought our own case is worse. And I saw what's our case. We are people's fuel finished inside the water. I don't understand. How can people be playing with people's life? Like, okay, we don't have to dash them small fuel. This is their boat moving small, small, but we have to overtake them because we don't really know if it's the engine that is not okay or the, you know, the fuel that finished. Well, thank God to cut the long story short, my brother, we are able to get to, you know, I started seeing future like we are heading to the finish point. So this is us, you know, <laughs> coming out after everything. So thank God for safe journey. I don't know. This side of the story is a little bit short, but then because I was afraid and they said no recording why the boat is moving. So this is me. So finally, I got to the place I need to start the next job. If you know this place, this is Park Hotel at um, Urumu, Urumu, but Rumo, Rumo, whatever. Well, I think it's Rumo. Like, well, don't mind me. I you know all this Rumo, Rumo. So, f- guys, thank you for watching. You can also contact us to cover your event, all kinds of events. We shoot movies too, we shoot musical video. You can contact us for your event. Thank you for watching. Do well to share. God bless you.